guys, my name is Subzero Extabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic. And that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to have some fun today at school and with school I mean the coolest school in the world. So let's go and solve some of these. It is that thing that people call a DIEJVU. But then I am really stuck in some kind of circle of the DIEJVU. Which is not that great, but we can try out really cool things if we want so that is something that will be cool. And the cool thing about trying out all of those cool things is that there are no consequences so we can do whatever we want and then when the day is over or we do something stupid that we should not have done then the day just resets and then we can start all over again and then we can relive that day and then it is going to be amazing, and it seems like the exact same mobs are here. And once again we have the wooden sword that people use in those movies that I talked about. So, everything is the exact same I think, and yesterday I was telling you guys about that there are so many mobs in the hallways and stuff, so that is just great that this is happening again. It is kind of weird if I have to be honest though, so I am not entirely sure about how I should feel about this but it is kind of cool if I have to be honest, I can just do all kinds of things and there will be nothing to stop me. I fell of the stairs the previous time and I just woke up the same and I am living the exact same day, but now I can do other things, so that is pretty interesting if I have to be honest. And now we can just go to our friend in the men's restroom again and then we can start our day with our best friend that is named Harry as you guys might have already known. So now we are at the classroom that we entered the previous time as well and it is kind of weird to see all of this back. This is literally my first day that I am seeing all of this. Well wait no it is actually my second day, but it is my first time that I am reliving my first day, wait that is really confusing, now I am not sure what is going on. But I am stuck in some kind of cycle so that is not really that great, but I guess that on the other hand when you think about the positives that could happen this is actually just amazing to relive all this stuff, and we are at Harry his room again and he is always here. It is the morning and he needs to pee every morning when he comes to school. And since we are early today he can enjoy his pee. And no one is here to bother him. Well then, except for me. But that is okay. I can do that he will understand I am kind of his best friend so I think that he is cool with it. But now we can enjoy the rest of our day doing stuff that won't be remembered later so that is just fantastic. So now we are just going to have the exact same conversation. Well it isn't really a conversation since his tongue stuff happened back in the day. But it is more of a stare battle or something. You can actually only see one eye of his face so I think that it is easier for him so he is basically a bit of a cheater since he is just going to win because he only has one eye that he can use and not two and then I don't know if that would be an advantage or if it would actually affect him negative. I am not really sure but that is okay because we are just going to walk after him and then we are just going to see how he likes walking around with one eye and the other eye is just behind his hair, which his hair actually looks really great if I have to be honest, I just have a simple trim on my hair but it seems like the more attention I pay to Harry the more I am starting to realize that this man is actually just a handsome young man. So we are just going to enjoy the rest of this day that we already experienced and this is the part where he is going to teach me and I am going to throw all kinds of stuff at him and then we are just having a good time, while he is pretending that he is a teacher, but obviously he is not really a teacher but he is just a fake teacher which is pretty fishy though, he actually just acts like he is a teacher but he really isn't a teacher so I don't T know how I should feel about that but I guess that it is okay and we are done here now I think, or are we going to do other stuff? No I think that this was it and that I learned that the whiteboard was made out of snow that is white, and not yellow snow. If I have to give one piece of live advice is that you should never taste yellow snow. It might look delicious, but if you trust me enough that I am going to say to you that yellow snow isn't really lemon or any other yellow delicious fruit, then I hope that you are going to believe me because otherwise that won't be a great day for you mate. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to taste yellow snow then you can go ahead and do that. But I am going to tell you a little thing about yellow snow. You might think that the yellow snow is something combined with snow like a lemon or something. But no it isn't a lemon it is actually some form of liquid. And you have already seen Harry use that liquid. And he disposed it in some kind of bucket. You have seen that twice if I am not mistaken. So I think that you guys probably know what I am talking about and you guys also probably know what yellow snow is so I have to not explain that again, 
but now we lost Harry again but in a minute, we are going to find him again and that is right he was actually just next to me, and I was next to him so, that is pretty funny but we didn't actually lose him he just went to the walls and he is making some sort of parkour, I think that he wants us to go to the roof, which would actually be pretty cool. I am not sure what is up there, but I fell again and I think that this day 3 that we are on right now is finally going to give us something that is actually going to excite us. Which would be really amazing if they would happen. So, we are going to see what this day is going to bring us. And I think that it won't be too much else but we are just going to see for ourselves what today is going to bring us and I hope that it will be at least something else. And then I can enjoy myself again. I am not sure how long I will be stuck in this loop but someone has to somehow get me out of this loop. Well not really a loop but this place I can't handle it anymore because it is getting so hard every time I open a door it gets harder. Okay do I have my shovel with me and do I want to go through all of this trouble or do I take a right turn right here and just avoid the gravel that is right there and keep on going in another direction just because I don't like gravel but I mean this pyramid looks pretty legit now and it looks cool as well so it is going to attract the eye of wanderers that come across this great piece of art the only thing that we were missing is the sphinx and the cacti that we are placing around the pyramid right now we really want people to turn their heads towards this pyramid and trap them so we need to get as many people to look at the pyramid as we can. And how do you do that? Well just place down a bunch of cacti and look at the pyramid now. It looks better than it did before. If you ask me when I would walk past this piece of art then I would enter this great thing and I would then be trapped but I would not care because I entered the great pyramid that everyone was talking about. This is the promised pyramid and no one has ever been inside of this pyramid. Only the workers that made the pyramid survived its curses but in reality. This pyramid does not have curses and the reason that only the workers survived the but he already knew what he wanted to become in life. The little man was just 918 years old and he was already obsessed with space and he knew that one day he was going to walk on top of the Mars because Danny was also a psychic and if Danny dreams his dreams become reality because he dreams about things that are going to happen in the future but not always because he also has normal dreams like normal people. But when Danny was at school Danny did not care about school. Danny just did the things that were going to help him through school because you need education to become an astronaut. But when our Lord and Savior was still very old he was not really paying attention in class but instead he was sitting next to the window and he was looking out of the window. When Danny did not have a seat next to the window Danny got mad and started fights with his classmates because Danny did once again not really care about school, but he needed school. So he went to school but he was just watching the stars outside. He looked outside a window that was not blinded by a plastic sticker. The rest of all of the windows were blocked by some stickers though but Danny obviously was not stupid and he wanted to sit there with a clear view to the stars and to the moon because he was obsessed with the planets and the stars and all of the great things that were above. But when Danny grew up he gathered a lot of magazines about space and stuff and he was really interested so he finally did his best in college because he was really aiming for the stars. Do you get that? He was aiming for the stars with some rain bonus. Because Danny was fabulous, that is when you want to have the best for yourself, but now it meant something else. It meant that he was aiming for the stars because he was really going to space and in space there are stars and that is why he was aiming for the stars. He grew up more and more and he was not the little old man that he was before but now he was actually already 16 which is weird since normally it goes the other way around. But I guess Danny is also Benjamin Button. Shoot out to the real G's that get that reference. Did you notice that those years went by really quickly? Well that is because this is not an autobiography. But it is just a little story that is also a bit of a secret. But this was his time. Danny was 16 and in the prime of his life. He liked the color purple, but the color pink he did not like which is really odd since they are kind of the same right? But seeing this constant circle of putting these blocks down got him just a bit tired. Wait no I am not Danny I am just Sub why am I telling this like I am Danny? That was wrong. But anyways Sub is getting kind of no also wrong. I sub 0 x to bite am getting pretty tired of putting all these blocks down just in the same color formation over and over and over and over and over and over again what is that you said there, sub? Oh wait let me repeat that. I am getting pretty tired of putting all these blocks down just in the same color formation over and over and over and over and over and over again. I don't really know what is on top since my main man Danny did not actually tell me what was on the top of the rainbow that he once built. Oh, that could be a good addition to my 
my story because he built kind of the same thing that I did, and this is classified information so please don't share that Danny did this with too many people. Since I am talking that much about rainbows all of a sudden I am starting to realize a myth. Has one of you ever seen a rainbow in Baldi? No that is right me neither, I don't actually think there are rainbows in Baldi. Wow this is some next level type stuff that I have never thought of before which is really strange actually isn't it? But yeah space. The Tesla guy has sent a rocket into space but then without rainbows and all of that. So I don't know if he is part of the Illuminati or how he did that. But he must be some kind of wizard I guess. Elon Musk that is the name that I was searching for. Yes, he sent a new rocket into space which is quite cool isn't it just to send a rainbow less thing into space. But I guess that if we are going to get to the top of all of this it is going to be quite cool and I hope that it is not going to be scary which would be kind of weird that something scary would be on something this beautiful. Perhaps there could be some kind of unicorn or a horse with a horn on its head on top. That would be kind of amazing wouldn't it? Yes I think that would be cool yes. But I do not think I have finished the story about Danny the astronaut. But Danny as I said always wanted to be an astronaut and on one day after he graduated school he signed up for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Or if that is too much for you. And I know it is too much for me. National Aeronautics and Space Administration is basically the long name of NASA. So you learn something new every day and today that might be that NASA stands for something instead of just four random letters. But our Lord and Savior Danny joined the NASA program. But Danny was really really happy because this was his chance to prove himself and he needed to go into one of those skinny things. No not a fidget spinner but one of those things that NASA used to train pilots so they can handle their sickness and that they do not throw up in space because you do not want to throw up in space but yes he was really happy even though he threw up because the first couple of times almost no one can handle that skinny thing because it is maximum g-forces a body can handle and that is not good for you and you are spinning around the entire time so your body is going to throw up after a couple of times he went into the spin thing he finally was able to handle it but he could finally handle it and his parents were really proud because you know their son was an astronaut and he followed his dreams since he was six and they were really happy and everyone was happy and I am talking way too much about happy but I guess I am happy but that is a good thing because being happy is good for you but yeah Danny was accepted to go build the rainbow path but not yet go to space but NASA was also really happy about Danny Danny was feeling do that with a wooden outpost not a crazy fancy outpost but just a little wooden shack where we can just chill for a bit we also should put up a sign so everyone knows that we were actually the architects of the shack I would like to live here because it looks very nice and warm up here. I have not seen any signs of water just yet so I should pack some when I get back to Earth and when I am ready to return to planet Moon. I would like to take some Coca-Cola glasses with me and some Pepsi bottles because I don't give a darn about all of that. But if I do not have any water I cannot build the pool that I wanted in the first place. If you have a pool you can cool off in the water on hot days. Rich people have pools and they look very cool. If I could have a pool here on the moon I would really be a baller. I do not have any neighbors or friends to share the pool with but I could chill in my pool with spiders when it is not night. The spiders should be friendly then even when they still look scary. But I will build that pool one day. When I have a pool I want to have it nice and warm so it would not be cold because no one likes cold water inside a pool. Hold on we cannot build a pool yet. The first step to getting a pool on our planet without any other astronauts to share the planet with is build a flag to mark your territory. When you do that you have claimed a piece of land and you now have a place to build your pool. The sad thing is that I can probably not even build a pool because I don't see any water anywhere around us. But now people as you have seen the elevators are not trusty so we will have blown them up with explosion a lot of them. There was this one great leader that said this, sometimes you need to lose a battle to win a war. And that is what I am doing here I am destroying all of the elevators of the big war that is coming. Yes ladies and gentlemen we are going to attend an elevator war it's called the war of the elevators where people build their elevators and then start shooting on each other while the elevator is moving. I have never saw something like that but I will soon enough. Maybe I might record it for you guys if it is possible but yes as you can see everything is almost gone and destroyed so we don't need to worry about any random elevators anymore. Isn't the case for now. People it is getting time to end this video we are running out of time. But don't you pranksters worry I will be back with a new video. So for now I say goodbye.